Hey everybody, today we're going to do a rerun video for a player named Nonsense. Uh, his best finish is C3, rank 6546. Uh, he has pretty interesting LD5s. Uh, he has uh, Vivichel, he has Oberon, he has Giselle, which is the dark uh, Hollyberry cookie. So what I want to build is a, a vivachel leo uh, combo, where you use like a Vivichel and a Vampire Leo, which those two together basically enable like a first turn snipe on a unit. Um, and then in addition, Viva Shell is really fast. So like it's, it's a really good accelerator, like that sort of stuff. I'm not going to show the runing process this time because honestly, I don't think it's going to be particularly interesting. Like it's, it's more interesting, I think, just to look at the final builds for how the team will be composed because as I've never played the team before. So it's really hard for me to sort of ahead of time think of a lot of the counter picks I'll need. Like, I know one of the biggest ways of beating that team from my perspective is that a lot of times they do not run a speed lead, which you're thinking, okay, so it's Leo. You don't need a speed lead, you know, because Leo reduce everyone to speed. But uh, you actually do because the the relative speed set the turn order. So for instance, if your Viva Shell's like say 330 speed, but they have any swift unit and a speed lead, they pretty much outspeed you, right? Like you have a 310 plus 24 and outspeed a 330. So um, so it's not particularly hard to outspeed if you're not packing a speed lead. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to at least fit a speed lead into the common comp whenever I need to be able to still get effective turn one. But then the other thing is that you need your Oberon to hit hard enough that you actually snipe units with it. Uh, because that's the biggest problem with Oberon is that he's he's actually pretty hard to build to do the damage that you're hoping for. So um, so you basically need to be able to snipe out a unit turn one with like with Oberon, um, whether you get Leo or not. And then the sort of secondary strategy for the whole thing is if they don't give you the Vivichel Leo combo, then you run Shizuka and Oberon and you sort of keep resurrecting Oberon with, like because because Oberon's not built very tanky. So Shizuka can keep resurrecting him if they kill him to keep sniping units. Anyway, it's, it's a really cool team and uh, I'm hoping we will have a pretty fun time with it. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go rune it up and we will take a look at the runes uh, here in just a second. All right, so we got all this stuff runed up. Um, just to give a general overview of his runes, they're not particularly good, like, like, they're not bad either, like, he has some decent speeds, but, like, his rune depth is pretty low, um, and that obviously limits our options, and his efficiency is not very good either. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show it on screen, but basically, he has, I would say probably, like, his top unit's like 106-ish efficiency, but the vast majority of these are actually runed below 100. So, um, the fact that he's been in C3 for uh, successfully is probably a lot to do with actually these LD combos that I'm going to try to use today. So the Leo Viva combo using Oberon, Shizuka, etc. I don't know how much we're going to be able to climb. Like, um, honestly, it's, uh, I, a lot may come down to counter picking, but unfortunately, because I've never played this team before, uh, <laughs> that's going to be kind of difficult too. So, um, Guess we're gonna try our best. I, I, I so I too, I runed up here. I'll, I'll, I'll go through the runes real quick. So we have um, our first mover is technically Hagang. Actually, I think it's technically Jemire. But um, so we have a Jemire tuned in front of Shizuka and Hagang. We have Hagang, which we're not gonna use heavily, but in some cases it might be a good counter pick to go with Shizuka. Um, we have Shizuka as a mover. Uh, obviously, we have Vivichel first on uh, on Swift Will. Shizuka is on Violent Will. Uh, Heigang is on Despair Will. Uh, Jemire is on Violent Will. So I don't, I'm not sure yet if I want to actually be on Will here, but like this could also be Nemesis. That's pretty common. Um, and then we have Oberon who, I know a lot of people put him on Nim Nim Will, but I put him on Rage Will. And because I personally think it's better to be able to one shot stuff than have the Nim tech, especially when you're trying to run this kind of like combo team anyway. Like if you just have Oberon, Nim will is the way. If you have this kind of tech setup, I think it's better to have him do more damage because theoretically this will kill, this will do like 43,000 or so. That's my, my rough guess, which will kill a pretty good amount of stuff. Um, 
So uh, we have Nana who goes actually right after Hey Gang, but before Shizuka. Um, actually, you know what? It's I'll, I'll I can show you the tuning real quick. All right. So this is the rough tuning. So. Uh, theoretically, I'm never going to be drafting Nana with Jemire because they're both kind of like last picks. So I'm not going to use the speed lead with Nana. So I tune Nana without the speed lead. Um, so this is the rough tuning. Vivachel goes first, or sorry, Leo goes first. You pick Leo Viva every time. If they give you Vivachel and Leo, you get to kill somebody. That's that's how the combo works. Then you have Oberon Shizuka. Um, and so the idea is that if they ban Leo, then you can boost Oberon to snipe somebody. And then if they kill him later, and then that gives you invulnerability or invincibility for Shizuka. Um, if they ban Shizuka, you have Viva Chill, Oberon, and Leo. So like you, have, you basically get to snipe two targets. Um, if they ban Viva Chill, this is actually one of the roughest things, you actually are on Leo, Oberon, Shizuka. So I think banning Viva Chill is probably the best here. But you do, you do still have two high damage units. So... Um, and then your last pick is going to be either Jemire to reset Shizuga. You basically get to do a bunch of reset shenanigans with Jemire Oberon, and you basically keep resurrecting Ob like Oberon to snipe people, and that's how you win. Or you can bring Nana to do kind of the same thing. Like basically try to get Oberon. Like if they don't have resets, you can last pick Nana, and then even if they kill Oberon, like one he comes back, but two like Shizuga will snipe something, and you start getting extra stacks. You, you see how it kind of goes. Um, so yeah, so we have a couple of counter picks we ruined. We have the Nim Nim Will Cassandra. We have a Hurty, which I don't know if I'm going to get to use. Um, and then we have Antares. And so I, I'm not 100% certain how this is going to play out, which is why I want to leave a little bit of my options open. Because as I said, I have zero experience playing this team. All I know is kind of how it works. And we're going to basically try to force it every time. <laughs> so uh, let's get into it. So as I said, he's currently ranked C, here he's currently C3 rank. We'll see if I manage to get around that. I'm going to be first picking Shizuka so as to not give away the Leo Viva setup because it kind of deals with every other speed threat as well. So you don't have to show it early. Like when I'm on second pick, I probably am going to show it fairly early because I'm going to go Shizuka Viva Chill. Okay, well he takes Shizuka, which is nice. So let's let's just show it early. I want to see what the response is when you do this. Okay, so he's going Cassandra. We're gonna take Nana and Oberon. So we're gonna basically like one for one him on like the snipe tech, essentially. And we do have Carlos ruined. Um, we also have Hey Gang. We have a couple other things. So I, so that's gonna be that's kind of a weird one because it kind of implies he's banning Leo. So I might want to actually ban. Uh, I'm kind of feeling like banning either Shizuka or Cassandra here. He really doesn't have a good way of dealing with. Actually, you know what? Let's do this and ban Shizuka. Let's see if we're faster. So we don't need crit rate, so let's go HP lead. So we need to try to snipe out, I think, I think we need to snipe out um, uh, Oliver. So I think this is how this works. So yeah, we have a 46,000 damage. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy down to low hit points. Because what's he gonna do? He's gonna kill, I guess, Carlos. Yeah, he can do that. We well, can kill it twice, right? Uh oh. He kills Carlos again. Okay, so maybe I should have maybe I should have killed her. Uh oh, that's rough. 
so I misplayed this, I think. I think Praha, killing Praha would have been better. I mean, he's, Oberon's still, still kind of doing it though. This, the problem is he doesn't have good additionals on this at all. So we're kind of getting hosed there. He's gonna kill Oberon now. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, GG. So that was just a misplay. I think not killing Praha was incorrect. Or potentially, I probably could have killed Chizuka. I also, th I feel like Carlos wasn't very good there. Like if I had any other unit, Carlos would have been better. So... But also losing Shizuka in my first match was not probably the greatest. So, like I could have went Jemire there. Oh, that should have been Jemire actually. That would have been cool. Okay, so we're gonna get the full combo this time. I may actually go Jemire, or even, or I might even go Nimtech because he doesn't have very much self protection. So here Cassandra is just gonna clean up. But except that uh, this guy is not very, or this guy is pretty strong against what we're doing. Uh, and by this guy, I mean uh, Cadiz. Uh, so we're gonna ban, I think, this guy. Or uh, actually, Ragdoll is pretty hard to kill too. Let's let's get rid of Ragdoll because he does the reflect, and then let's go. Um, let's actually go Cassandra. Do Ragdoll. So we have double snipes. We have three snipe teams basically. Forty-four lead. Oh my gosh. Who's he go for here? Okay, nice. I actually want to kill this first because this can steal. Oh, that sucks. We did not. Well, we can stun everybody though. Well, actually, not her. Let's refresh those. I'd really like to get Cadiz dead. And she's doing really well. That's what a cool unit. I actually want her to kill this though. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe I shouldn't have used this S2. Proc, please. Damn. So now it's going to come down to can Monkey beat this? I mean, we are we are vampire Leo, so we have an okay shot here. But well, all right. So, <laughs> man, vamp Leo is cool. So what was the misplay. So the the Cassandra is not very good. Um, yeah, like the biggest problem we're going to run into, I think still is going to be rune quality issues because this, the Cassandra is not ruined well enough to like one shot without like a whole bunch of buffs and they are going to ban Vivichel a lot. Actually, so maybe, maybe, uh, take, trying to take the triple snipe actually isn't that good. Like I should have a backup plan instead. Uh, like that kind of could even be Jumaira, right? So they're gonna be having like reset stuff. So this could actually be, um, this could be Hey Gang. Uh, 
Uh, we can't we can't go uh, fire Ryu here. I can go triple revenge bird though. Actually, I don't I don't know how good this triple revenge bird is. Okay, it's okay. It's not great. Oh, it's on hundred res though. Not bad. So we should be able to ban last and be fine here. One problem is he will get to reset Oberon forever. Except that if he gives us Leo, do we care about that? Actually, if we ban this, if we ban this, we get to go first. So if he bans Leo, we'll get to snipe something. If he bans Oberon, we're not having a great time, but it's not that bad. Let's actually ban this, because I think, okay, yeah. So now it's like triple wind units against <laughs> triple revenge bird, and she's a guy. <laughs> just, uh, she's got 38 lead, that's kind of cool. So what we have to do is we're just gonna turn cycle, kind of, until we have the ability to uh, snipe something with Viva Chell. Oh, actually, no, we get to snipe something off the bat. I keep forgetting, we have Leo Viva. Um, let's see, let's go, let's get rid of get rid of her. That way he doesn't have any hard stuns. Like he's gonna reset us, but we have Bird. Like, we just get to keep moving with Bird, basically. Nice res. You're putting him in range, dude. Why would you do that? I think he's in range, yeah. Oh, he's not, that's too bad. I thought he would have been. Does he have it already? Ah, oh, he has that, that's fine. Um, let's just refresh this. What an annoying team this is. <laughs> I think people still don't know about the Leo Viva combo kind of a setup. But yeah, I don't think Fire Cassandra is the play here. I think, and also this Nana is kind of weak. Like it's too tanky, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, we got we got the weird lad. That's fine, that's fine. He's playing accelerators though, so we gotta be kind of careful. Um, so he's, he's probably, he wants to play for speed. So we may actually be on the Antares wagon this game. We can go Antares or we can go Hay Gang. Actually we go Hay Gang, that's nice, because then we get one of two different snipe setups, and we can re we can put up immunity again. So we can ban uh, the strip because we have double immunity right now. Okay, let's get rid of this. So this is these are both going to overspeed us. Uh, is going to be the biggest problem here. Um, both of these will boost higher than Hey Gang. So if if this is double swift, he's going to leave us Hey Gang ban this. Actually, let's let's do this because I should I should get to outspeed him. Yeah. Okay. So so the what I did here is that he was planning to overboost Hay Gang to basically get the strip. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, probably kill Verd actually. Do we kill Verd? Verd's the cycling. Like if he gets going, we just lose, right? We could also potentially, so we can't, uh, can we, can I kill the Robo? The Verd's gonna be really bad though.
Actually, I'm gonna do this and expect the robo to not be able to do it. Because now we get immunity and invulnerability back up and we stun him again, which is pretty nice. Oh, that sucks. But this is a low act robo, by the way, <laughs> which is a silly thing to have, but Hope, we're on 100 res here, so maybe we get it. Okay, we kind of did. Or we're on 100 red Shizuka, which is kind of nice. Okay, so he goes that. Okay, we really need to proc out right here. If we proc out here, I think we win, but otherwise, ooh, that's spicy. Okay, let's do this again because we are gonna we're gonna hopefully cycle back to her, and then we're gonna snipe the Robo this time. Oh, forgot, it's, it's, it's down a little bit too long, but we can do this, that's nice. I probably should have saved this immunity. Oh, come on. I mean, he is, he's on, okay, that's cool. So we are gonna probably get to kill this before Varad goes, oh my gosh, that's bad. Oh, never mind. Still kind of okay. Glance it. Not that it matters. Nah, we don't kick glance. Okay, so he may be able to actually kill us from here. Because uh, Verd, Verd uh, this guy is insane. We need to get a resist or two. Oh, never mind. Song of Switch Destiny. Um, let's get her up higher. Yeah. Proc. Thank you. I don't like it in this configuration. Hey gang, hey gang worked, but it felt really dicey. Very, very dicey. Like, Jemire might have been better there. Actually, Jemire, yeah, let's try Jemire instead of Gang. I think that would have been pretty good, too. Because then we would have had a speed lead, which is a different kind of threat. Okay. So this, uh, the, the Shander's been pretty common recently. Okay, so now I am feeling like a hey Gang. Do I feel like a hey Gang? Let's do Oberon. So now we have Leo, Viva, this. So actually, let's do Jemire, because then we can race speed. So we have high base, he has high base, and a 24. So he's going double high base, so we can ban. So he either gives us a speed lead and Viva Chell Oberon, or he gives us the combo. So we're actually gonna ban that. Oh no, he has two speed leads. Oops. Uh, let's see, what do we do here? Do we ban, do we ban Charlotte? So we can't, or do we just ban the reset? He only has one strip though, and we are on will. So let's do this. Okay, so it's just gonna be speed versus speed. So let's see if we're faster. If we are faster, we can kill Charlotte. And we'll let, like we're, it's gonna be, yeah. Actually, no, he only has, he doesn't have any strips, so we can actually put immunity back up, which is really funny. So we'll just do like, oh, this thing goes next anyway, though. So let's just kill it so that.
Because we're going to be able to use Jemire to reset everything anyway. And then hopefully we can snipe something with Song of Switch Destiny. I'm gonna do that just so that we have... Okay, let's do this. So we get slows on, which is nice. <laughs> so yeah, oh, the Jemire setup is really awesome, actually. Oh, uh, who do we Song of Switch Destiny? Do we do this guy? Let's do this. We're basically just trying to hurt him. He has boost, yeah? Okay. This guy doesn't do very much damage, but it's fine. She still hits pretty hard, though. I wish she was on crit, though. Just getting slows. The 100 res is really working right here. I should have third skilled there. I, I don't know all the cooldowns by heart, so I was actually expecting to snipe something. <laughs> what a team this is. This is actually pretty fun. It's kind of nice that it, it works this way. It's going to take Shizuka probably, this game. Unless he's really dedicated to not playing combo like that. We could also have Antares him, I guess. I don't like this guy's Antares, though. Uh, like, it's pretty low stats. Like, it's okay, but, like, like it's missing, like, 500 attack. <laughs> okay, he takes the Jumire. That's fine. So this he's actually is kind of setting himself up for an Antares. Or, or maybe even a Fire Rhea. We are still going to go Oberon Leo, uh, because that's, like, kind of the core comp. I want to see what else he picks, because right now he's so heavy wind, I can actually pick a Douglas and just, like, if he, if either one of these is wind, we pick Douglas, ban the other one, and we win. Okay, Carlos is a little rough. Uh, do we ban that? Do I care? I ban, Carlos is the threat. We keep, can we Leo? Or, sorry, not Leo. Can we like it, this man? This like is pretty okay. Can we vert him? Let's try verting him and banning this. I think just, like, our amount of garbage we have available plus the turn accelerating is actually going to be enough. Let's go HP lead just to give Oberon a little bit more juice. He doesn't have, uh, like, resets. So he, his best bet's going to be to glance him, but he doesn't have strips either. So he can't stop, like we're on Will. I, I don't know, I don't understand what he's doing here because he can't really stop anything that we're doing. I'm going to push this, see if it's on Nim. It wasn't on Nim. We're going to put back up immunity. He's just trying to get some damage on, I guess. And so we're actually going to go here. We're going to take the biggest... I bet this is going to be the most hit points. Actually, we're going to take Charlotte out. Because I want Jemire... I, I want to kill Jemire first, actually. Well, now he's healed, so we're going to have to go here. So he has to get a stun here, otherwise we get immunity again. Oh wait, did he Jemire and I missed it? Okay, that was a good one at least. 
Ooh, that's a super good stun. Who lad. That was a good set of despairs. I think I think we lose. We we can proc out of this actually, but it's gonna be rough because this guy can't proc. So probably should have went into this. Cause his armor broken, but we can get it on the next one. Okay, this actually, this still isn't looking that bad. Like once Verd gets go, man, I was really hoping it would sell armor break, but strip. Please don't kill this. Please don't kill Shizuka. Jemire, you sh you speed scale. Don't don't do it. Sun revenge. Oh, how did I? Oh, I forgot the shield. The shield. I forgot the shield reflects. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> That's funny. That's super funny. Oh, the Jemire's so weak. I should have been killing that. If only. What's interesting is I still don't know if he can kill the Sleo. He's gonna have to despair stun it. We're just trying to keep Verd alive a little bit longer by S1-ing. Oh, he actually should have tried to kill right there probably because now he doesn't get a stack. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, so because we're on Vampire, like if he despair stuns, anytime he despair stuns, we're having a bad day basically. I'm gonna hit this one to get hit points back. Uh oh, here it comes. Poor guy. He got killed by the Vamp Leo. Yeah, I forgot that the Wind Cookie did that whole shield thing. <laughs> These take a little while. Okay, so. As usual, first pick Shizuka. Just keep, okay, so he's going for a speed strat. It doesn't change what we're doing. The nice thing about this team is that it challenges speed and like slow, which is pretty cool. But I do feel like it's, it means we're likely gonna be picking a Jumire this game. One nice thing is we are pretty fast. The Viva Chill is not bad. Like 332, it's pretty good, especially for C3. But if he's bringing Asher, it does mean we need to challenge equal speed leads. So he's kind of safe from a Douglas unless both these picks are bad. So we can't cap. Okay, so we got the Gianna. Uh, I feel like Gianna's, he doesn't have strips. So we can actually ban Gianna and not care, right? So let's do this, ban Gianna, and then I think we're good because we're on full will. Well, other than Leo, but if he gives us Leo, we just win, so. And he's likely banning Leo because of the Masha, is my guess. He might try to bonk, uh, he might try to bonk uh, Oberon out of existence with just Masha damage. That's 100% possible. Um, 
but we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, uh, immunity. So, like if we kill Masha, we're basically fine. Okay, he challenges speed. It's fine. He basically if he boosts, he's he's trying to kill Oberon. He's just trying to S one Oberon to death, which is like okay, but it's still not that good. You're gonna do it? You're gonna do it? He does it. He does it. So let's actually boost. Let's do this. Let's take let's take her out of the equation. And then we have to do this to get skills or to. So this is hopefully good. Yeah, so we get a couple stuns here. We have immunity for a couple turns, it's fine. Okay, so Masha really wants it, that's cool. But we, if we get rid of Masha, we're basically golden here. Next turn, we're going to bring... Um, we're gonna bring Oberon back. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. He does probably kill Jemire here with this, especially if he crits. Okay, he didn't, that's nice. So we'll heal. He has strip though, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna get to bomb this guy. Okay, so it's looking a little rougher because now he has bomb. Okay, sad. That was a good sleep. He has boost again, so he's gonna get the heal. Um, okay. Did, oh, maybe. Oh, he was asleep one turn. Okay. So as long as she doesn't proc, we might be okay. Do we get a proc? This guy did proc a lot, by the way. He has bomb, but no explosion. We might might be good. Might be good. Because uh, I believe Vipachel's gonna have uh, cleanse slash heal this turn. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't be able to explode it this turn. Yeah. So we should be able to cleanse this off, and then we're gonna be able to bring Oberon back, and then bomb. Um... Oh, this is rough. Actually, you know what? Let's do this to reset everything. Nice. Because now we're gonna be able to put bombs on next turn. As long as he doesn't like proc this next. Oh, he might be able to bomb again this turn. Ah, uh, we were slightly too slow. Oh, he biffed it. 100 res, got him. Gives him some bombs back. Nice. Let's get him really hurt. I was gonna say he's actually gonna outspeed us now, but it's fine because we hurt him a lot. Team has so many like little puzzle pieces you can play with. It's hard to keep track of everything though. Okay, so he ghost bomb again. Ah, rip. Best daughter. Kind of a long climb to G1. But you never know. Balad. Okay. 
same kind of stuff. So we're gonna show the Leo Viva early. I wanna see what he does here. Cause like we're picking this anyway, so I wanna see if I can counter pick his counter picks. That's gonna be the idea. Early more means we do not get a opportunity. So the one problem with more being in the game, excuse me. Okay, so this is actually really good. Um, so this is pretty good from a Nimtech perspective. Like we could go Cassandra and we could go Cassandra Oberon. So he's got double speeds, double high speeds. So he's actually gonna ban Leo. I should have brought uh, Jemire here actually. Now I think about it. Might be able to outspeed him though. Uh, so let's see if my ban can be correct. I do need to ban one of these two because these two together, if he just bans Leo, he just outspeeds us and wins. If I ban Wool Young, then if he bans Leo, we might be able to Cassandra Chung Pong. So if I do this, promise he can leave Leo and outspeed us, right? So if I ban this, that this is his least effective team overall. Like he does, he only has one reset. I'm actually gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's try this. HP lead, attack lead. Let's go attack lead, HP lead. Okay, he doesn't have a lot of hit. He doesn't have a lot of damage, so we're just gonna do this and try to out. Ah, I should have won 38. What am I doing? So Chung Pung is the big threat on his team right now. The rest of it's like um um. And then, and our Nim tech isn't gonna be strong enough. Even with double Nim, we're not gonna be strong enough here. But he has to reset literally like three things for him to win. Oh, he's just trying to cleave us, I guess? That's weird. I don't know if that works. He's gonna kill Oberon here. Or he might go Viva, but I doubt it. Oh, he, whew, we were too strong. Spins, okay. I'm doing this specifically to get rid of the glancing. <laughs> Sadly. See, I don't like this Cassandra. It doesn't kill anything. And this is actually fine. Even if he kills this, this is the whole point of the Shizuka comp. Is that I can just bring it back to kill somebody. Um, do we use Song of Switch Destiny here? Let's do Song of Switch Destiny to get this guy hurt, and then we're gonna kill uh, uh, Wunsa. Unless it kills this, I guess. It could, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually this would be, f oh, we don't get buffs though. That's too bad. Like, killing the Water Ryu is going to be the hardest part of this, but I think it'll be fine. Like, basically, if I ever land a CC on it, like a sleep here or anything, like, we just kind of win. I believe this gives him armor break. So if we crit Cassandra on this, he also just dies. Yeah, okay. Just feasting our way up. Ugh. Man, what a cool team. If you have these two LDs, you just play this team. <laughs> you don't need speed. Remember, we're, at, we're like literally at like 100 rune efficiency. This is like, <laughs> uh, this is like C2 account rune efficiency. Maybe C2. <laughs> it's probably gonna do the same stuff, right? Do we switch our, our thing? Are we gonna, okay, same deal. We don't, I think Cassandra, was Cassandra good there? I don't know if Cassandra was good there. Actually, let's try Jemire this time because I was lamenting the fact I didn't have a speed lead last time. Because right now, if I, if I bring this, we can actually ban, um, actually, yeah, same, same deal. 
Okay, so he gives us <laughs> he gives it to us this time. Okay, dude. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we get to kill. We're gonna kill. Actually, we get to kill two people. We get to kill two, because we're going to kill. Um, we're gonna definitely kill. Um, bah, 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 uh, Sekmet, and then we're also going to kill. I think Wool Young to get rid of the heels. Oh, he's actually faster. That sucks. Okay, well. Oh yeah, I forgot he banned the speed lead. This is why I was saying that you can just bring this. Uh, See so here, Nimtech would have would have been really good here, but it's actually kind of fine either way. Okay, well he just loses now. GG. Plus he just despairs four units, but even then it's like. <laughs> Uh, do we just do, we do this, we do this. Cause he's kind of out of damage already. So, and this thing, this is a really squishy wool young, like just give everybody dots and like CCs and all this kind of stuff. Time to do it, Leo. Kaboink. One problem is, is these two can't proc, so we are actually. Oh, well, I guess Shizuka's gonna be pulling uh, ATP. Did we just miss. I felt like we missed crit. <laughs> I'm gonna look at that. That was weird. I guess we didn't miss crit, but it felt like it. We just keep hitting him. No, we didn't miss crit, that's fine. All right. Still climbing, still doing good. We're going like 20 and zero. Actually, we lost one, but. Yeah, I like the first pick she's ago for this. Get the Leo Viva, show him the speed. So he's gonna really dis okay, so he's definitely banning Leo. <laughs> we'll put it that way. So we're gonna have to ban the 'Cause he's definitely banning Leo. So we have to hope we're faster. He has three different ways of killing us, and it's gonna be kind of brutal. So what do we kill? Tableau is the actual threat. He gets this three times with Tableau, and he gets to hit us. Oh, that's really fast. I, I don't think it'll matter though. Oh, it is it did matter. It did matter. That's actually annoying. Like we were so close. Like, a, a, a attack speed, or attack speed buff is like a 3% ATB boost, so these were all tuned. These are all like 325 or so. Alright, GG. So, maybe I should have just fan Terry's. <laughs> I mean, that's hard to do, though. It's, it's hard to beat, like, three, you know, like, if someone's running a full Swift team, like, it's really tough to beat if you're not just have at least one unit that's faster. Like, maybe I could have picked the 33 lead. He had, he'd already taken it. Oh, maybe I should have... Oh, you know, I should have picked Vanessa. What am I doing? Vanessa would have been better there. Because it was a cleave team. Okay, that's just my mistake. I should have actually taken Vanessa there. I don't know how this Vanessa's ruined, though. Okay, it's ruined approximately okay. Tableau. So this guy's looking like some... This guy's looking... Like, Primo and Terry's spade. So he's definitely banning Leo, is the thing. If he bans Leo, we can't outspeed him no matter what. So we're, we're banking on Antares. So we're, what we're looking for is what's the thing that gives us the best chance versus Antares? 
or like what's what's the thing that gives us the best chance given that we're using Antares to kill him? So I'm just gonna go HP lead. He has a couple of really big threats he has to deal with, but he gets to take a lot of turns, but that's kind of the point of bringing Antares. So unfortunately our Antares is not um, super good, but he's at least tanky and tanky is kind of what you want for taking on one of these sorts of teams. Because all you're looking for is that disruption. Like, you just want him to take a bunch of turns, you to not die, and then eventually kill him with Antares going off a couple times in a, in a row. Like, he takes so many turns that it's going to happen. It just depends how long it takes. Like, he probably stuns Oberon here. Okay. Not so much. That was, that was a failed attempt there. That's sad. Um... You know what? Let's do this. This will be really funny. Can I kill it? I can. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I thought it was cool because I want I just wanted to try Viva Gel. <laughs> Okay, and Terry's needs to start working though. He is he is being kind of a bit of a and Terry's is being a little bit of a baby right now. Okay, that's unfortunate. Do we actually have okay, dude, stop. We we are kind of set up for prox though here. Bro. Shizuka doesn't proc out. We basically got zero RNG that... Okay, dude. Sometimes it's just not your turn. We got zero RNG. He got every violent proc, and we got zero Antares procs. Actually nuts. Oh, uh, let's see. What, what would have been a more consistent way of doing that? We could have brought Jemeyer to race him. Like, Jemire is sort of the, if I think I can race you, it's a better pick because, like, it's a consistent way of doing it instead of RNG. But I felt like his team was fragile enough and took enough turns that Antares should have worked. Unfortunately, this is a garbage Antares. You can tell because it's not a pirate. But also, it's not tanky enough and all this other stuff. Like, there's a lot of issues with it. I would have done it again. Okay, Shizuka. We love Vanessa. This is what I like to see. Like this stuff doesn't like stuff like Wusa doesn't work very well against uh, this sort of team. You need like control components. Okay, Verd, not scary. Kind of implies he's leaving me uh, Leo though. Okay, so we could we can go um, we could go Nana here. We could go because actually I feel like Cassandra is just the play. Like just put enough threats on the board, he can't deal with it. So now we just get rid of this or this. Can we deal with can we deal with him? He's the scariest, and we have stuff that'll kill all these. We're gonna have at least two snipes in the comp no matter what. So I think we can get rid of this, and so we'll be able to kill something either way. Like we can kill him first, and this or we have a couple. Okay, he. Actually doesn't go speed. Do we go HP or do we go attack? I think we go HP because I think as long as we don't die to these two immediately, we should be fine. And we probably still outspeed unless it's a swift bird. If it's not, if it is a swift bird, we probably don't outspeed, but Um, let's go, let's take this out first, just because we're going to have to anyway. And we'll just do this. Now we have the immunity. 
perfectly fine. So now the thing is he doesn't have any strips. So we're gonna have uh, will and invincibility for as long as we feel like it pretty much. Does this ignore? Nor, no, it only ignores enemies defense, not enemies everything. I'm gonna wait for these shields to wear off. He realized. <laughs> Man, Viva Oberon is so good. Why can't I have such a combo? Like just to have that in your back pocket as like a thing you can do is kind of insane. Oh, our, <laughs> okay, well, uh, our wings just reset apparently because this is Asia server. So I'm going to do like another maybe five because I'm not going to go look and see how many it is we had. And uh, we'll call it there because I think I've basically kind of given a good idea of how you're supposed to play it. Okay, so we got Craig. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Can we hay gang now? If I hay gang him. So we can ban Craig. Craig's going to be the overboost. Okay, so he's banning Leo. So if he's banning Leo, or is he? Is he is he banning Leo? So if I ban this, we can kill that. We should be able to kill one. We get to kill one. So we kill this. Okay, interesting. So is this a Leo trap Sonya? No, say it isn't so. <laughs> I hope it's not, but it could be. Doesn't seem like it. I mean, it is gonna have way high attack. So does it go for Shizuka? He did get the cooldown. If we proc, we're maybe okay. Ah, uh, GG. Oh, that was interesting. So what should my ban have been there, actually? So I was expecting the Leo ban, but maybe with Craig, that's what makes it so he doesn't need to. If I had banned Shizuka, he would have overboosted Heigang. Actually, would he have overboosted Heigang? If I had just banned Sonya, right? He, if he banned Leo, probably would have been fine. If he hadn't banned Leo, if he had banned Heigang, for instance. If he had banned Hay Gang and we had banned Sonya, we would have died. So, like, really bad died, actually. Would we have? If he had banned Hay Gang. He would have been able to boost. Uh, it was it was a gamble. It was a gamble. Maybe I should have went Jemeyer. I don't know. Let's, uh, that one's tough. That's that's tough. Like, because Craig is a special situation when you're using, like, versus Heigang because of how much he boosts. So you just don't have to care too much about Heigang at all. Because, like, I also guess I could have went Bird or, like, Juno would have been super good there too, right? Is this the guy we already fought? This is very similar to that other team. This, is this the guy who I lost to with Antares? Do we just go Jemire now and try to raise him? He's also kind of Dougieable, not gonna lie. Let's 
Same dude. Okay, so it feels like he's banning Leo, but I'm gonna pick Dougie. I don't know how good the Douglas is. It might be bad. Eh, it's okay. Let's go attack lead, because I just need Douglas to win the game. 44 attack lead with Douglas pretty good, not gonna lie. He can kill him with additionals though. The problem is, is the Douglas is only like 18,000 hit points. But I, if it's the same guy, his his uh, Ethna wasn't very good. So, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like the, the counter pick's correct, it's just his counter picks are not very good. But he does still have to control a lot of stuff for like two units, it's pretty rough. And he can't really S2 without taking a, probably a pretty nice Douglas hit. Okay. No boost, ooh, that's actually sick. Okay, so do I just go ahead and heal? I think I heal. Yeah, I'll just heal. Because he doesn't have any strips anymore anyway. So even if he reset, well, he has one strip, sorry. He has the one. It's a pretty big Douglas hit. Heals somebody? Yeah. Um, let's go here, actually. Because I'd like to kill this with not Oberon. Except, ah, uh, this is gonna suck, actually. Actually, let's do this, and then we're gonna bring Oberon back on the next one. And then this is where we bonk, uh, Yunhong out of existence. Except he left. Topia. Okay, got some got some speedy lads. Let's throw it on the board. Because I think the big thing is you have to draft this really early, because the other stuff needs to be counterpicking whatever it is they're bringing. This is this feels like a Jemire. This feels like Jemire because Jemire uh, fixes Sekhmet, so we don't have to ban Sekhmet if we bring Jemire. We probably need to... This might be an Escher ban sort of a situation. The problem is, is that it gives us no good Leo targets if we ban Escher. Okay, so he's banning... Uh, okay, we're just gonna ban this then, because he's banning Leo. So it's just gonna be a race, and we're, we're, he's giving us Oberon. Uh, never mind. Do we do it anyway? Do we get rid of this or this? If we do this, Leo doesn't kill this. So he's probably giving us Leo. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, okay, that's not expected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill Tomoe. Tomoe is the thing that kind of screws us. Assuming we get first turn, which I feel like in C3 we really should at 332. Um, we kill Tomoe, we just win the game. Cause like Sekhmet, Sekhmet, whatever, Jemire just resets everything, it's fine. Oh, never mind. Escher's faster. Okay, so a lot's going to depend on what lands and... Because, like, Shizuka is still basically uncontrollable. Okay, well, he biffed it, so... The correct play, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Goes for the stun now? Probably. We're gonna be able to do some Jemire shenanigans here though. Um, let's try to get slows on. Because the only thing I'm really scared of right now is Shizuka. Like he can't kill 
He doesn't have the he doesn't have the damage. Oh, yeah, maybe he does with this. He has twos probably, right? Okay. It's very strange, very strange. She's got out. Okay, so this is gonna come down to what does Jemire do? Does Jemire get stunned? That's a big deal. We still have a ton of resets though. This should go first. I'm actually gonna reset this so we can get an immunity out of it. Cause we're gonna reset her, uh, she's gonna go with Jemire anyway. Hopefully she outspeeds. That may have been a mistake. Actually, I think it was, because I think he gets to spin now. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a mistake. Because she has third skill, yeah. Okay, well, we're not dead yet, though. This was pretty un unfortunate. Man, I, I messed that up. Still winnable, but hard. Because the Jemire doesn't do very much on its own. Again. Uh, man, tanky more. That was weird. Can she's gonna do it? I don't think she can, but maybe. I should proc here, please. Nope. We almost have third skill again. Oh no, that's bad, that's so bad. I think we're dead though. Man, that one misplay is all it took. Problem is, is I can't get out of this. Yeah, GG. She almost did it. All right, two more. Two more and we will give a little bit of a recap. But yeah, I mean, team's, team's great. Uh, again, oh, man, that misplay. It's gonna haunt me all day. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised overall that we're able to do as well as we are with the runes that we have. Um, he needs severe work uh, in both farming and grinding those runes. Because he has a couple like decent speed ones, but then like the rest of his stuff is pretty... I wouldn't say unusable, but definitely really slow for the rune quality that it's at. This stuff is, I think this is stuff I, I feel like fighting, I, I like to fight the most. Okay, so Kinky, that's kind of nice. So Kinky is gonna be really hard to kill with Oberon. So we're gonna do this, and then we need something that will actually kill that. Do we have Giselle? Okay, she's on some weird speed stuff. You know what? We haven't used it even once, let's use it. Because that all this will actually take care of Kinky, so we can actually it, unless this is another CC unit, we can actually ban uh, Cigar, and then we'll just take this guy apart eventually. 
Because Kinky's not that scary. And we can also, like, Song of Switch Destiny him. There's lots of stuff we can do to him that's not, like... Okay, so Juno. So he's he's going for the strip setup. So I'm actually going to ban this. No, no, no. We ban this. Because I want to kill Cigar. Like, we're, we're going to kill Cigar first turn. And then it's just going to be uh, her teeth stealing stats game, basically. We're also not going to use third skill on Juno for a while. a good one. Actually, I mean, I don't even really care at this point if Leo dies, because I think these these two plus Hurtit is essentially enough to make it happen. If this is violent, it's going to be really annoying if it uh, progs. Okay, well. This dies now. I don't actually care. Because basically, he's kind of done what he's supposed to do at this point. Which is to make it so we can actually kill... Uh, so we can kill Kinky. Because now we just hit it. It's just like, it just starts dying. And now we just start stealing Juno's stats, etc. Oh, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Love me a good Hurtit. Goes for Strip? Yeah. I was going to be a little bit miffed if he managed to stun him again, because the Juno was going wild. Wee. Playing Hurtit is one of the most fun things in the game. <laughs> Actually. Unironically, one of the most fun things. It just stuns every turn. <laughs> it's wild. Get out of here, Juno. All right, so there's there's a way to use her teeth. If they try to bring slow Saki stuff, you just dunk them with her teeth. What a unit. Nope, same guy. Let's see if he tries to do the same thing. He's gonna steal the Shizuka though. I feel like this is a this is a Shizuka stealer. Okay, he brings the Leo. I don't think if he I don't think he knows how that works, actually. Okay, so we'll bring two snipes. And then her teeth. Like it kind of implies he's banning Viva Chell. Either that or he doesn't know that Leo counters himself whenever you do this. So he's either banning Viva or he's banning. Okay, so he's kind of. It kind of implies he's. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so we go Nana. Yeah, we just go Nana, and we ban those. He probably bans Viva Chill though, but it doesn't matter if he does actually. If he doesn't ban Viva Chill, he just dies to himself. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We'll go HP lead. Not that it matters, but it might matter. I don't think it matters. But anyway, he we get basically Leo moves. We kill Vivachell, or we kill him with Vivachell. 
And then Oberon moves and kills somebody else. That's how it works. Like this guy did not know how this works. I mean, he could be banking on winning with, um, I mean, if you just proc, I mean, if he, we have three lives, we have three lives. Like, what's he gonna do? He can't do anything. Probably should have tried to sleep here, actually. He might even have third skill up. He procced enough. If he procs here, he has it. Yeah. All right, well, let's get armor breaks on, I guess. He's kind of just delaying the inevitable, not gonna lie. Resets Oberon, should. Okay, never mind. She's back. Can we, no, I don't think we should song a switch destiny. The monkey, because he moves too fast. Um, let's just go here. Attack break, didn't get it, too bad. Goes for Viva, okay. Oh, she can't do it on herself, that's too bad. Man, I love me a good hard-hitting Oberon. <laughs> Give me Oberon. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's uh, that's gonna be it for me. I don't know how many wings we did before this, uh, but we did five more after reset. I think. Okay. Re to recap, I think this team is incredibly busted, and you're really only limited by how many options you have for your fifth pick. Because like Shizuka, Vivichel, Leo, Oberon is insanity. So like, if you had a really good like, like, um, like, honestly, if if Kiara, I, I know I've been. If you've watched my stream, you'll know that. Like, I've been saying how much I want Kiara. Kiara would solve a lot of problems with this team, like because she has the speed lead. She's still a snipe to use. Like, so much stuff. Like, that would be a really good unit here. Um, but yeah, this team. If you have Vivachel and Oberon, which to be fair, two LD fives, I know, but some of you do. You should try this team because it's not that hard to build. The runes are not good. Like the, the runes that I'm using on this account are not that crazy. The craziest thing is this set of Swift because it's like, it's got, actually let's look at the actual runes. It has one quad, two quad, three quad. So we're on three quads basically. A 25, a 28, and a 27. And then the other two are 23s. Oh, no, it's 22 and a 23. So technically if you had two 24s here, this 27 could be another 24. So you could have three perfect purples and then two quads. And this one's a 25, come on. So this is basically a 24. So really we're looking at one quad of plus three, like over a, over a 24, or sorry, four over a, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Um, this is not an unattainable swift set if you farm a lot. So like the rest of it though is not very, this is not high efficiency. There's zero attack here. It's kind of tanky. It's not fast, you know, like I, I don't want to, I don't want to like, like sit and like burn this guy's runes all day, but this is not the hardest team to build other than the two LD5s, which again, I know, but it's still, but still some people probably have these two and they don't even use them because they're like, I can't use them. But this, the Leo Viva, fantastic. Oberon paired with Shizuka, fantastic. Like all this entire setup is just, if you have the ability to run this team and you don't ever run it, like rethink what you're doing with the game because this is like a unique thing that only you can do and it's fun and it works and that's a very rare situation in this game in my opinion is to have something is to have the ability to do something that basically no one else gets to do and it's actually good so anyway keep that in mind uh again thanks everybody for watching 
Um, this one's probably a little shorter because than usual because I don't know exactly how many wings I did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's all. Thanks again. See you in the next one.